which are, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate driver packs into a Windows CD. So you're going to need a few tools for this job. First tool we're going to need is 7-Zip. You can download this for free off this website. Okay, I will put a link in the description. You just choose which version you want. We're going to need a uTorrent so we can download our driver packs um, off of the uTorrent sites here. And it is legal, so you're okay to do that. We're also going to need uh, driverpacks.net, which is our driver packs base. You need to download that here. Okay. I will put the link in the description. Also, back at driverpacks.net, we need to download our driver packs. Now, you can get that from the main site here and then just go into Get Latest Drivers. And as you can see, we've got Windows 7 and Windows Vista 64 bit packs here. So you can actually integrate uh, Vista and 7 driver packs if you wanted to. In this video, we're going to be doing Windows XP Home. And as you can see here, we've got the 32-bit Vista and 7 packs. But we want this pack down here, okay? The 32-bit XP. Now, you just pick which ones you want to do. You can do the whole lot if you want, or you can just pick out certain ones. I always like to concentrate on the LAN drivers and the graphics drivers and the chipset drivers, okay? And sometimes the monitors and sound. It just depends. Uh, what sort of jobs I'm doing, but they're the ones I normally like to do. Um, so the first thing I want to do here is click on a download. Now I've already downloaded mine, but if you click on these, like so, you click on the download, and I've already installed all my programs. And as you can see, it's asking for the torrent site, uTorrent. I'm using uTorrent uh, program here. You can use whatever type of uh, software you like to download your torrents. Click open. Click OK and it will start to download. Now the download speeds are pretty fast because there's a lot of driver packs up there, a lot of people seeding for them, so they will come down very, very quickly. Um, but you can see I've already got mine, okay? Okay, so now we've got all the uh, boring stuff out of the way, let's get on with the actual building of the actual CD. Now I've already got my CD folder on there called Windows XP Home OEM. You can call yours whatever you like, that folder. But you need to get all the files off of the CD and drag them into this folder. This is my Windows XP. Okay. Now you can use Vista or Windows 7 as I said and drag them into a folder. Or you can use an ISO image. But you need to take the files out of the ISO image like we're doing here. Okay. So once you've done that we need to go to our C root directory. And I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call it driver packs. Like so. And inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder. You can either use this little thing on the side if you want to, if you're in XP. I'm going to call this driver packs. As we've done there. Now inside the first one, I want to put in our DP base file okay like so and inside this folder the secondary uh, subdirectory folder I'm going to put all my drivers in and as you can see I've already downloaded mine to inside my drivers folder so I'm just gonna cut and paste these straight into there okay so I just need to cut and paste these into here like so so you should have something looking like that. The second folder's got all your drivers in, and don't unzip them. Leave them zipped up, okay? You can see them called 7z, and that's the actual 7zip file. But just leave them in there, okay? You don't need to unzip them. And inside our first one, we got this. So the first thing I need to do now is double-click on this, and as you can see by default, it says driver packs. That's why I named them driver packs. And then we're going to unzip those or extract them. Next thing I need to do is click on the cab file folder here, which is called DP Base. I'm going to click on this, and uh, once we get that, I'm just going to pull this down here so we can just see this part. You need to select your language that you want. Okay, I'm going to be using English, and then I'm going to go Browse, and then you need to 
click on this file here. Now, if you don't know where that is, I'll show you where it is. It's in your C root directory inside driver packs and the bin folder. Okay, and you need to click on this one. Click open. Okay, go to the next step. And as you can see, all the actual updates are okay on mine. So go to the next step. Settings. Pull the settings bar down here, location. So we need to click on disk here, and it's already on disk by default. And as you can see, it's all shining up red there, saying it can't find a valid location. That's because we need to tell it where our Windows folder is, and mine's on the desktop. Yours could be wherever it likes, and you just need to click on that and click OK. And pretty much we're good to go now. Now you need to come back down to where it says driver packs now underneath settings and we need to select the drivers that we want to integrate okay these are the ones I'm going to do the next one driver pack method okay so I'm going to leave that on uh, method um, 2 there finish method I'm going to leave that on this top one let's come down to the optional settings I'm going to leave that on disabled and leave that there leave that where it is I'm going to put that one in there as well go through your overview and then you've got your about and then we're going to do slipstream okay and as you can see it starts the slipstream you just it just takes a bit of time to do it but just leave it to do its thing now okay okay so slipstream finished in 28 seconds click OK we should have a slipstream disk so here we have our actual folder here now if we look at the size of the folder you can see it's up to 1 gig ok 1.2 gigs I didn't show you the beginning but it was about 570 megabytes so as you can see it's all been packed into there ok and if we look inside here now And then come down to OEM here. You can see this OEM folder here. This is the folder that is created with all the actual files in. Okay. And these are all our drivers. Okay. So we need to create an ISO image now. So what we need to do is we need to get a program called NLight, and I'm going to use uh, the NLight to do this. And you can download it from this site here. We'll put the link in the description. So I've got it on my desktop here. I'm going to fire that up. I'm just going to go next. Browse for the Windows installation, and it's that uh, Win XP Home folder. Click OK. Click next. And if you look back there, you'll see it says it's got Windows Service Pack 3 in it. We could also slipstream the service packs in if we wanted to, uh, but I've already done that. And what I want to do here is I'm going to skip a lot of this stuff because I just want to go to uh, bootable ISO and then come down the bottom here and click bootable ISO. Go next. And as you can say, create an image. I don't want to burn it or anything at the moment. I just want to make an ISO. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's just say, XB, I'm going to underscore that. Okay, I'm going to call mine that. I'm going to stick it on the desktop, click save, 
and there you go it's going to create this bootable ISO for us it's very quick and painless okay so that should be created which it has I'm going to finish that off and this is our file here as you can see the one we've just created 1.2 gigabytes now I've got ultra ISO here just to show you and as you can see up there it's saying bootable that means the CD is now bootable and all I need to do now is burn that if I wanted to I could have used uh, NLight to burn that if I wanted to but I've got my copy here with integrated driver packs and that's basically how you integrate driver packs into a Windows CD ok so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys show support hit that subscribe button also rate and favourite all for my videos if you enjoy them it helps me get a little bit more visibility on YouTube ok so thanks again guys thanks for your support bye for now